Hey there YouTube, welcome back to another UO vlog video. Today's vlog, we're at the Sutlikan National Park, also known as the Sutlikan Canyon. So without further ado, let's start our vlog. So I'm pretty sure you guys are confused what I'm doing currently. So currently I am rafting but on a tube because I have a paddle in my hand and I have to navigate and avoid the rocks and the shallow areas. And it's you're actually going through a stream and it's a 15 minute ride and it's 200 Turkish Lira if you guys are interested. I really recommend it by the way. So these is, this is one of the activities the uh, activities you can do at Saklikay National Park other than the canyon, the trekking through the canyon. Uh, you can also do canyoning, bungee jumping, zip lining and other outdoor activities as well. So we've almost reached the end and when you're tubing or rafting there a guide comes with you to help you if you get stuck in the shallow or rocky areas and when you arrive at the end there's a lot of people waiting for their bus or dolmush and they take your tube and they put it on top of the dolmush or they have a rope and they tie all the tubes together and there's also there was this excavator and i asked one of the guys there what the excavator is doing the excavator is actually uh, making the stream path longer so that you can tube or raft for a further distance so i really like that now let's start with the Saklikan Canyon. So for prices, there is 13 Turkish Liras, which are for tourists or for people who are not students here in Turkey. And if you are a student, then you pay 6.5 Turkish Liras. And very importantly, they only take cash. They do not take card. And for ages from 0 to 6, this place is completely free. So now that we have officially entered the Saklikent Canyon, let's give you guys some info and some facts. So Saklikent Gorge is also known as uh, the Hidden City. It is about 18 kilometers long and 300 meters deep, making it the longest canyon in Turkey and one of the deepest in the world. So this place is actually 50 kilometers away from Fethiye. It'll take 45 minutes by car. And the easiest way to Saklikent Gorge is by renting a car or a private vehicle. But if you do not have a vehicle, don't worry. There are daily tours from Fethiye that will take you here. They will also take you to other places as well. And the easiest way to get here is from Fethiye because that is the nearest city. Now the downside to the daily tours is that you cannot spend your whole day or as much time as you like because when you actually get to the place in your own car then you can go for trekking into the Saklikan Canyon and spend almost your whole day or your whole afternoon, evening, whatever. But when it comes to these daily tours, you can only spend up to 3 or 4 hours and that's not enough and you don't really enjoy that much. So what you should wear for the Saklikan Canyon is also very important. For trekking through the Saklikan Canyon, you should wear sporty clothes and shoes that you do not mind getting wet at all. These are also the same type of clothes that I wore to the Gizli Kent waterfall. Alright guys, I'm ending the vlog here, so make sure you guys subscribe, turn on post notifications, go ahead and like the video, and I'll see you guys in the next EO vlog video. Bye!